Hey guys, I'm Alana. And I'm Jocelyn, and today we're going to be showing you the proper painting and cleanup procedures. So let's get going. Okay, first up, these do not go there. The brushes do not get left in the paint bowls. The paples do not get left on the counter. Especially when these are not custom mixed colors. These are colors you can pour back into the containers. Right now, we'll show you how to do that. Step one is to grab the designated color out of the painting cabinet. Then you're going to take the paint in the bowl and carefully using the brush, pour it back into the big carton. Of course, don't do this if it's a customly mixed color. So say you wanted to make pink and you make red and white, please do not put the pink back into the red container. Only do this for colors that have not been mixed. This is an example of paint that's not salvageable to save because it's just kind of dried out and crusty. So next, you're going to put your brushes in the sink. You're not going to leave them in the sink, but you can set them there while you take the empty paint bowls and put them in the garbage can. Next, do not leave your brushes for someone else to clean. Please, please, please clean your brushes. And if someone else has left brushes in the sink, please take responsibility and just clean whatever brushes are left. So that way the next person isn't leaving even more of a mess. This is the proper way to clean your brushes. Just using your fingers and gently rubbing the bristles. You can also rub it around on your hand or on the bottom of the sink. You're welcome to use soap if you'd like, but please make sure you're getting all the paint out of the brush just to avoid drying out the brushes. This one right here is an example of a clean brush, and this is an example of a not clean brush. When you're done cleaning your brushes, they go right here to dry. Dry brushes go in this container right here. This is where the big brushes are kept. Custom mixed paint can be left in bowls and covered with paper towels for somebody else to use. Please mark the color on top of the bowl and make sure that it's completely covered so that the paint doesn't dry out. These are the only paints that can be left on the counter. The Different box? areas are designated with signs on the counter so that you know where to put things. Right here is where the custom mixed paints go. Please do not leave dirty paper towels on the countertop or weird in junk in the sink. Please dispose of it properly. This is the area to pull out paints and pour them. Over here are the plates and bowls that we put our paint in. Up here is where you find extra plates and bowls. When you're pouring paint, please only pour a little bit at a time to avoid wasting it. It's not acceptable to leave the paint containers on the counter. So please make sure the lids are screwed on tight and put them back in the painting cupboards right over here. These counters are gross. <laughs> Lastly, we would just like to discuss taking personal responsibility. All of the paints and all the painting supplies are our classrooms and we all use it. So we would like you to please be taking responsibility for cleaning up messes, even if they're not your own. Um, it's just a nice thing to do. And of course, we know that uh, when someone's in the room, you're going to clean it up because there's other people watching. but. Part of being a leader is even when people aren't watching that we're going to clean up and we're going to do the right thing. Awesome. Thank you guys for watching. There's going to be a little quiz. So do your best and we hope you do well.